You're a superhero How's it going everyone? Today I'm going to be reviewing the Metamorphic Cannon, the new weapon that was added on Respawnables this Thursday. Basically, this weapon was added onto Trial 4, and Trial 4 is really easy to complete. It's the event, the Winter Camp Trial 4, for those of you guys that don't know, I haven't been following Respawnables in a while. This weapon is a very mixed weapon. Some people like it, some people hate it. It's a free weapon, you can get it really easy by just playing Trial 4, and Trial 4 is really easy to complete. So I don't think that should, people should fuss about that. But without further ado, let's see what this weapon does. The special thing with this weapon is, if you use a different Santa heads, Santa beards they're called, you get a different effect for the weapon. In total, there are 7 Santa beards. I have only got 5 of them, so I'm going to be showcasing 5 of them. I'm going to explain in a bit what I mean. I've got the Santa beard, the normal one. I've got the classic Santa beard. The Night Santa Beard, the Cute Santa Beard, and the Fireside Santa Beard. So if you use a weapon without any Santa Beard, if you don't have any of them, you get the normal ammo. If you use it with the Santa Beard, which I have, you get the Fire Ammo. If you use it with the Cute Santa Beard, which I also have, you get the Magic Ammo. If you use it with the Night Santa Beard, I also have that, you get the Water Ammo. The Classic Santa Beard, you get Poison Ammo. The Fireside Santa Beard, you get Energy Ammo. I have all of this up to now. I don't have the tactical Santa's beard, which gives you normal and healing ammo, I don't have that. And the thick Santa beard, which gives you stunning ammo. Those two last ones I don't have, but they're not that broken. The best one that people are saying is the classic Santa beard, which gives you the poison ammo. Okay, to test it for the head with no beard, I'm gonna be using the zombie dreadlocks, which doesn't do anything affected at all, it just heals you when you defeat an enemy, so it doesn't affect the weapon at all. For chest, I'm gonna be using the cyber chest, which increases by 50% the damage of any weapon. Basically, it's glitch. It doesn't do that. It doesn't say it does that, but it does what it does. And I'm also gonna be using the zombie scout pants, which at full health you get a 20% reload speed increase because the reload is really bad with this weapon. Anyways, without further ado, let's get right into mission. Okay, so I've gone ahead in missions to test this weapon. I'm using no beard right now. So I don't get any effects with this weapon, just as it is normal ammo. As you can see, it doesn't perform really well, it takes so much time to kill people. And the bad thing with this weapon is, the reload is really bad, that's why I'm using those pants, but it's it's still not that good. But without those pants, the reload is really bad. The range is bad, and also, it doesn't have auto-aim, so you have to aim on the person, which makes it even harder. So all these three factors, and normal ammo, which is, does very little damage, it just makes this weapon really, really bad, and I wouldn't recommend using it without a beard. Okay, so now I'm gonna be testing the metamorphic cannon with the Santa beard, which basically gives you the fire ammo effect. And as you can see, it's so, so much better, it kills the people so fast. It's definitely, for me, the second best beard you can use. And you also got this for free on, on this event, which is basically really good. It's the second best beard, in my opinion. So yeah, that was the Santa, Santa beard, the normal one, which is the fire ammo. Let's go ahead to the next one. Okay, so the next one that we're reviewing is the classic Santa beard, which basically gives you the poison weapon. And my opinion, this is crazily OP. This makes a weapon crazily OP. Is what well, actually better than the heavy masculine with a poison effect. Just look how fast it kills the people. I like it very much, this weapon with a poison effect. It's one of, it's actually, a very good weapon to play with. It's better than the heavy masculine, as I said before. But it's not the most OP weapon in the game. It's not like the heavy skull or something. But it's really, really good. As you can see, you, I kill people so, so fast. Okay, so this is for me and for like most of the community is the best beard you can use. Let's move on to the next beard. Okay, so this Santa beard is the night Santa beard. Basically, this gives you the water ammo effect. And I thought this was gonna be way better, but actually it's worse than the fire arm effect and the poison arm effect. The water arm effect is really good because it slows down the people and they cannot use medkits. But it just doesn't kill them that fast, but it's still decent, it's still decent. So overall I would say this is a decent beard, I wouldn't recommend playing with it. I would strongly recommend the poison and the fire, if you don't have the poison I would recommend the fire. But this is a debatable one, debatable, as you can see it's not that that good. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, so next up it's a cute Santa beard, which basically gives you the magic ammo. I don't understand this because I don't know how it's magic ammo, it just looks like the normal weapon. But I really don't like this one, it just kills them so bad. It's basically the normal ammo, 
without any beard, just a little bit better. It doesn't do anything. Yeah, I, I, I don't have an answer how it works and I don't like it at all. As you can see, it still kills pretty slow and just not that good this beard. So let's move on to the next beard. Okay, so the last Santa beard that I have is this Fireside Santa's beard, which gives you energy ammo. In my opinion, this is a bit better than the cute Santa beard we gave, which gave the magic ammo, but it's still really bad. I really don't like it. There are two more that I don't have, as I said in the beginning of the video, which is the stun ammo and also the other one which gives you healing and, st and normal ammo. Basically, also those aren't that good. They might be fun to troll with, the healing ammo and the stun ammo, but they aren't really that good. The best overall beard to have is a classic Santa beard, which gives the poison ammo, which makes the weapon really, really broken. It just doesn't compare to any other. And if you don't have this, it's a normal Santa beard, which was for free, which gave the fire ammo, which also is really, really good. It doesn't compare to no other. So without further ado, I'm going to be going to multiplayer with a classic Santa beard because it's the best one and testing this weapon out. As you can see, now I've gone to multiplayer free for all. And this is actually a good lobby that I got right now. And I'm going to be testing this weapon out with a classic Santa beard, which gives the poison ammo effect, which is basically the best one in my opinion, as I said. So let's see how I perform. I'm also using the cyber chest because it gets 50% damage increase, which is because it's glitched right now. And also the punch, so I get a 20% reload increase at full health. So I'm going to fast forward it and catch you guys at the end. Okay, so guys, the match finished, and as you can see, we got 26 kills, 12 deaths, first in the lobby. We destroyed that lobby. It was a really, really good game. So now we're going to be testing in hordes, which many people requested. Let's see how this weapon does in hordes. Okay, so now I'm going to head to hordes mode to test the Santa beard out, which is a fire ammo effect. And as you can see, it's really, really bad. It's worse than the heavy skull, worse than the incinerator, worse than the fire spitter. It's really, really bad. I wouldn't recommend you playing with this weapon in hordes. This is the fire armor effect, which should be good and it's really, really bad. Now, let's see, maybe because the classic beard is better, the poison armor effect. Let's see if that's good. Nope, it's still really, really bad, as you can see. It's even worse than the fire armor effect, actually. It's really, really bad. I wouldn't recommend playing with this weapon in hordes. Just, just never play with this weapon in hordes, guys. Just don't. Just don't. Okay, so guys, my overall conclusion on this weapon. It's a really, really good weapon if you use a classic Santa beard, which basically is the poison ammo effect also if you use the santa beard which is a fire ammo if you don't have the other the classic santa beard and use the santa beard which is a fire ammo effect you can really dominate in the games but if you if you use a classic santa beard it makes it really really op and really really fun to play with the only downside is the range but that's only in long range maps you just don't play with any long range maps but it's, it's still decent in range, it's still decent in range. And the reload, but I countered it by using those pants, which are basically free with the zombie knights, and they don't cost many zombie knights. And also use these pants as I showed in the beginning of the video. Overall, I would play with this weapon a lot, just I won't use it in hordes because it's really bad, I would never play with the hordes. I would play with the missions and multiplayer a lot, and team, team VS and free for all. Anyways guys, that was it for this review. Thank you guys for watching, be sure to subscribe and like the video. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. All live stream. Peace.